this is for the fundamentals course. I'm teaching a lesson on R, which is center lateral resistance and center effort. Um, okay, so essentially the first thing that I'd like you guys to try to understand is how it actually moves forward. So basically how that works is as long as our sails are set, they're in, they're parallel to the wind somehow, there's a force being pushed sideways on the sails. And that's the only force that's actually making us move. What turns that from a sideways force, pushing against the sails and moving the boat sideways, is our center board, which is our center of lateral resistance. So the center of lateral resistance takes that effort that's being put onto the sails, which is our center of effort, and turns it into forward momentum. Okay? So the midpoint of both of our sails, the point where the most effort is being exerted on the sails from the wind, is called the center of effort. The line, on the point underneath the water that balances out that force and turns it into forwards momentum is called the center of lateral resistance. Okay? So basically we can think of that as the midpoint of both of our sails and our center board. Now, if the center of effort moves behind the center of lateral resistance, what do you guys think would happen? Just thinking of the center of lateral resistance as a pivot point. Okay? So if the center of effort is even over both sides of the center of lateral resistance, we're going to get a straight course. There's going to be nothing affecting that. Let's say we push on this side of the boat, putting force behind our pivot point. It's going to turn the front of the boat up. So what's one way that we could put more force behind the center of lateral resistance than in front of it, using the center of effort? Assuming that we can control the sails, we can let out our jib, and we can bring in our mainsail. Any ideas? What if we pulled in the center of, sorry, what if we pulled in our mainsail and let our jib out? What would happen to the center of effort? If there's no wind in this jib, and there's only wind in the mainsail, which is behind our center of lateral resistance, would it turn what would happen? Up? Exactly, we turn the boat up into the wind, and vice versa. Where we would let off our mainsail, bring our jib in, the center of effort would shift in front of the center of lateral resistance, which effectively pushes us away from the wind. Okay? So, one more time, just to sum up that, think of the center of lateral resistance as a pivot point, and the force that you're getting, that the wind is putting on your sails, or on the center of effort, has to be balanced on either side of this pivot point in order for us to move in a straight line, unaffected by the wind. Okay? Um... Yeah, so any force, how I basically said that is any force applied behind the CLR will cause weather helm, which will head the boat up into the wind. Any force applied in front of the CLR will cause lee helm, bearing the boat away from the wind. Okay? okay? Yeah. Um, so now that we kind of have a better idea of what CE and CLR actually are, we're going to talk a little bit about how we can use CLE and CLR to uh, affect the course of the boat. Change, change the course of the boat, turn the boat. Um, the first way, and the most obvious way that we can do that is with sail trim. So basically, each sail has a sheet, and I've drawn it in here, but I haven't drawn it in here. And those sheets control how far outside the boat the sail can go and how far inside the boat can come, okay? In other words, they control the power that we put on the sail. So the farther in you bring it, depending on what angle your boat is pointing to the wind, the more force you're putting on that sail. So by bringing in the main sheet like we just talked about, letting off your jib sheet, you can control the course of the boat. What do you guys think would happen? We've talked about it once, but what do you guys think would happen if we brought the main sheet in and let our jib sheet off? Will we move away from the wind or will we move towards it? Um, lee helm. That's right, it would be lee helm, yeah. Yeah, which is? Away. away from the wind. That's right, good. Um, the next way that we can control our CE and CLR and use it to adjust our course is through centerboard adjustment. So because the center of lateral resistance is essentially our centerboard, and our centerboard can swing this being as far forward as it can go all the way back to about here, by swinging the centerboard back, we essentially swing our CLR back. Okay, so our center of lateral resistance moves back and our center of effort stays the same. Okay, so in a boat that's experiencing with the sail set properly, so everything should be going smoothly, everything's, you know, everything should be going straight, the center of lateral resistance and the center of effort are balanced. In a boat set like that, that's overpowered, 
what's going to happen is your boat is going to start healing. And when you start to heal, you automatically want to head up. So you'll feel this pressure being put on your tiller and your rudder, trying to head the boat up. So you're basically be sitting there pulling, pulling against it, which is essentially creating a break in the water and slowing your boat down. Okay? So to counteract that, because you're getting that, le that, that weather helmet, you're being forced to head up, you can move your CLR back, which lines it again, up again with the center of effort, and shifts everything back into balance. So if you have all your sails trimmed, you're overpowered and you're, you're, you're experiencing weather helm, one way, which is slower because it, it, it kind of causes you to slip sideways a little more, but one way that you can adjust that if you have to is by shifting your center board back and moving your CLR back a little bit further to line up with your center of effort. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is mast rake slash mast position. And this is essentially the same thing as center board control. It's just above the water line. Okay, so instead of controlling how far back or forward or fore or aft, okay, so aft being back, fore being forward, it's all start referring to it. Instead of controlling how fore or aft your center board is, we're now going to start controlling how fore or aft our center of effort is. So instead of just, you, you know, we've already talked about how you can let your mainsail out and bring your jib in to adjust your CE CLR. By letting your mainsail out, you're losing power and you're slowing yourself down. So while that will control the course of your boat, it's definitely not the most effective way because you're, you're taking power out of your sail and you're slowing yourself down. So what you can do instead to shift your center of effort forward or backwards is move the entire rig. So you can actually use what's called mast rake, which is the lean of the mast. Or you can, some boats have it so that you can shift the whole foot of the mast forward a little bit and back a little bit. And depending on where your center of effort is and where you need it to be lined up, you can play around with that and, and work on different body positions in the boat to keep everything balanced. Um, and the last thing we're going to talk about uh, is not as directly related to CE and CLR as these ones are, um, but it is still a very important aspect in controlling the boat and using something other than your rudder, which is, like we've talked about, basically just a brake, to control the direction of the boat. And that's boat trim. So if sail trim is adjusting the position of the sails relative to the boat, boat trim is adjusting the position of the boat relative to the water. And really what that does is depending on how your boat is tipped, you're going to change your water line. So this is the water line of a normal flat boat. And a flat boat has no force acting on it either way. It has no helm. It has a neutral helm. So there's no weather helm heading it up, and there's no lee helm bearing it off. If we heel the boat to leeward, which is away from the wind, our water line goes from this nice symmetrical thing with our center of lateral resistance dead in the middle to basically half a teardrop. And you can just see how the angle and the line, the water line of that shape is naturally gonna, mm -hmm. gonna head up because all of a sudden, like I said, there's no, there's no even space on either side of our center of lateral resistance. It's all shifted to one. And again, what we'll get if, with that, with a healing boat, is pressure on the tiller, pulling away from you, trying to push the boat up into the wind. So that's why it's very, very important, although it seems counterintuitive because there's more, more friction in underneath the water, that's why it's much faster to have a, keep a flat boat with, you, you, want, you want all of this space in the water. Even though it seems like there would be less friction and you move faster there, there's so much more force acting on your tiller and on your center board, your center of lateral resistance, when you're in this position heading you up into the wind, that it's actually very slow. Okay, so... Um, and can you change that with your body position? Uh, you can change that with your body position uh, a little bit. Typically, you want your body position inside the boat to be kind of central and balanced over your CE and CLR. Okay. So, you know, were this a single-handed boat and you move this back here and there was n none of this sail, you basically want to be right on top of that center of lateral resistance so that you're not, you're not tipping the boat and pushing it forward anyway. Right? And it's, everything's neutral. It's as if you're not even there. Um, okay, so. Well, you talk about keeping the boat flat. Yep. How do you keep the boat flat? Well, like I say, because, um, because all of our forward movement in sail, a sailboat comes from pressure being applied sideways against the sails, what that's going to do is, again, like a pivot point, 
it's going to heal the boat. So you're going to go from here, a bunch of pressure gets pushed, yeah. and it, it pivots your boat and it heals it. Yeah. Which is why a lot of the time, in heavier wind, you see boats kind of sailing along yeah. on a heeled course. Okay, And the way that you counteract that in a dinghy is by using your body weight to get outside the boat, bring it down, keep it flat. And that's what we call hiking. Yeah. Okay, and In keel boats, you can't do that so much, but they have... Um, they have keels, they have the big things underneath which are designed to, to kind of counteract and, and like a counterbalance to the force being pushed against the wind. Mm -hmm. In a dinghy, you don't have that counterbalance and your body has to be coming, you are the right? Yeah. So, um, just to do a little recap, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you guys some questions without actually looking at this, uh, the descriptions we have. Um, so, what, what is our center of effort? Where, where would it be? Sales. Right. Yeah. That's right. It's the midpoint where, you know, the midpoint of that force being applied against the sails. So it's the force above the water that's actually, you know, forcing us to move. Uh, and the center of lateral resistance would be? Below the water and the center board. That's right. It's the center board. It's the thing that turns that sideways force into forwards momentum. It pushes against the water and it shoots us out forwards. Um, okay. If we wanted to... Let's say we had um, weather helm. So once we, just to recap, that means that our tiller is being pulled away from us and the boat wants to head up towards the wind. How could we counteract that without using the sails? So if we know we can't use our center of effort, mm -hmm. how do we change the balance between the, the two? The center board. That's right, you use the center board. And what would, what would you do? Would you want to swing it back or would you want to swing it forwards? And keep in mind that we want to move away from the wind. We want we want the wind to push our nose would you be moving away. Back yeah. That's right. You would move the center board back, which would bring the center of lateral resistance back, which would put the center of effort in front of the center of lateral resistance, pivoting us around it. Right? Um, okay, so a boat heeling to windward. Okay, so a boat heeling, which is again that tipping as a result of the wind, a boat heeling towards the wind, okay, so let's say that the wind is coming from the top and we're heeling this way, okay? Are we going to be moving, because of that heel, towards the wind or are we going to be moving away from the wind because of that heel? Would it be towards the wind? No, nope. remember it, it works. It, it's a banana effect, right? So you go from a teardrop, a nice, nice level teardrop, and all of a sudden you have a half teardrop on this side. So it's going to curve, banana effect, with, with that half teardrop, and it's going to move away from the wind. Just like if our heel went all of a sudden to leeward, the, our boat would be forced to head up into the wind. Okay, and um, how do we keep our boats flat? Hike out. Hike out, that's right. Use our body weight. Good. Um, okay, so, uh, do you guys have any other questions about any of this, or do you uh, think you've got it? I think that's very clear. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ooh.